manufacturing your idea is clearly a really exciting part of the journey, but it is also probably the most challenging part of the journey because you're no longer responsible for most of your product development yourself, but you have a manufacturer who is now taking responsibility and they've got to learn everything that you want design intent wise while also working out how to make it cost effectively and how to ensure that it's reliable and durable for the long term even when they're producing hundreds of thousands or maybe even tens of thousands of units. Now the manufacturing phase starts with a manufacturing specification for your product. Now this is a lot more detailed than anything you've had up to date and it uses all of the learnings from the prototype stage um, and puts it into a document that then the manufacturer can use to create your product. As you can see from the picture of the journey on the screen, you've already gone through all the design and the development and everything else. You've got the details thrashed out, you've got a working prototype, and now is the time to translate that into something that a manufacturer can make. And the specification is the first part of that. And once that's done and signed off, we're then into sourcing different manufacturers. And you might want to compare for example, a UK manufacturing price with a Far East manufacturing price, you want to, might want to compare multiple manufacturers in the same country. Um, but please don't look just at price because quality is clearly critical and a poor quality product uh, is going to cost you a lot more in the long run in terms of returns and lost brand value, issues in retailers, etc. etc. So quality really needs to be a key part of your consideration. Also, the communication how you get on with the manufacturer because you want a long-term relationship with them. All of those elements should be a key part of making the right decision about who is going to produce your product. I'll be doing another video on that soon, so make sure you hit subscribe, click the bell icon as well, and then you'll be notified when I'm putting out new content, uh, particularly content that could be useful around choosing a manufacturer that will be done in a few weeks' time. Now, once you've got all the quotes back, once you've got some information uh, back, maybe you've taken references, looked at other products they've already produced, and obviously you've got a feel for that manufacturer and the communications that's been going on, then you can take a choice as to who you're going, going to go into sampling with before then finally into production. You might want to sample with more than one manufacturer so that it's a competitive process and you've got more than one to compare with. That often means that the time scales are, are reduced. Because if you sample, then decide that's not the manufacturer for you and choose a different manufacturer to start sampling with, obviously that can uh, lead to extended time frames for your product as well. Now, during the sampling phase, the manufacturer is trying to, where they can, reduce product cost, but they are also trying to obviously persuade you that it can produce the right quality. But it, it is inevitable that the samples that come back are not going to be the same as the prototypes that have been produced. Um, in a much different fashion often and potentially with different materials as well. Now once you've been through uh, the right number of samples to get a final sample called the gold sample that you're really happy with, then you can basically sign off and go into production. Often at that point it is best to go and see the factory before you commission if you can uh, and you may also want to employ someone who does your quality control because they might want to go in during production, not just at the end. That's something, to worth, that's something that is worth bearing in mind as well. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my intellectual property video, because otherwise you could end up revealing your concept to a manufacturer uh, without it being protected and invalidate future patents that you could hold.